Yeah, you're locked back into Game of Thrones. My name is Rayhan, and this is Sons of Winters, or Sons of Winter. <laughs> so did the dead frighten you? I have no idea. So anyways, this is bang right in the middle of season five, and uh, I'm going to be expecting something huge. Episode three was a uh, utterly complete mind-blowing episode. It, it, it unraveled all the mysteries of uh, House of Forrester and the Boltons together. You know, alliances and evil, uh, evil, I don't want to say spirits, but evil villains, I guess. Because spirits is normally what Game of Thrones is about nowadays. Anyways, this gameplay uh, will not consist of commentary. So I hope you enjoy it. Please drop a subscribe, please like the video, and obviously drop a comment. I will see you back for episode 5. I hope you enjoy this episode. Let's do this. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? This is over, Roderick! The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig.
I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burn till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. Yeah. He was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall who wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... Finn's just being a good brother. I think. Can't watch a man die and just... I decide what justice is. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusty's. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were gonna be by my side at Crestus. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. And let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say.
Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Oh, shit. <gasps> Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. I'm still getting used to it, that's all. I'm sure that's it. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. I have this. Drogon? How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your sellswords, please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My sellswords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asher. 
This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. What the fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? Doesn't matter now, does it? Beska, get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. No, but Griff will see that you pay for what you did. You don't stand a chance against Griff right now. Not in a fair fight. And I think you know that. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Wrong trick! Let's try it again. Almost. Again. That's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. But I really had no other choice. Lord Whitehill. Paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. 
He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Why he'll still have my little brother? If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I'll do it, if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one she hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and her. Jamie. Oh, shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. I bet it's one of those ironwood merchants. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. It's hard to say. Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. 
They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. I can't move it. Won't budge. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Keep trying the lock. I'll see if there's another way. Right. Useful. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. 
You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd draw something like this. Finn, it's not safe to be seen with us. Then good thing I brought this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And... Good in a fight, you know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move! There's no turning back now. We're deserters, for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. The vows I said here. I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. And that's on them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm 
coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. You? I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Actually, I think it's your turn. I don't think so, Roderick. Ah, <laughs> oh, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the... Anyone that moves! You heard him! Stop down! You can't do this! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you, and your sister, and your own Fucking family! I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see. <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. I think he wants more. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? Is that it then? We're done here. Clear out. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. This isn't over, Roderick! Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. Enough! 
So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders and get him pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! Put in the seven bloody hells! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Come on, Croft. You can do better than that. Ah! Ah, you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft had to say? <sighs> <sighs> Uh, your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! I'm doing this for my family, Biscuit. This is oh, the only it's way. It's always about you. Your family. Your problems. <laughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that! Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it! Get over it! I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city! I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. I'd ask what you were thinking, but maybe I don't want to know. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. That's enough drinking for tonight. It'll only make you feel worse. I don't need any more men telling me what to do. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that.
Oh, that's not what I have. Let's not give him too much gossip. You shouldn't say that. Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Please. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> oh, really? My That's ears are not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little lobes. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? There's somewhere you'd rather be. Yes, don't let us keep you. Please, excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and... is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! No longer a demand. I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Oh, I 
can't remember. I, I think it was a bird. Mm, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I've heard you stopped selling ironwood. Not on my account, I hope. How did you? So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Uh, friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit! You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. 
You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... well... I suppose Lyman, I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks, just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. 
Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. know where you're going. Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? That we should keep moving. Better if we're moving in the right direction, though. Doesn't matter if we all starve before we even get there. We're on the right track. This way. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Good on, Ting. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow to me. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. He'll be all right, won't he? Ha! Ah! Ah! Ha! Oh! Stop! Please! You don't like ah. it? You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! How's that feel? I 
think you can do better than that. It. Kill them! Yeah, it's over. Just don't do it, Garrett. Let her go. What have you done? She was running away. Can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. I thought I'd feel better, seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. I just knew it wasn't right. I wasn't the Lord I wanted to be. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. We could gather information. See how fortified their castle really is. Well, that's true, I suppose. If we're to mount an assault... We'd only do that if they still held Ryan. But now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. 
If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you best take Duncan. You're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I wish I knew. Still, we can bring only one. Royland's my sentinel. He comes to High Point. Duncan can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Find proof if you can. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. <laughs> You're my family too, Malcolm. And I couldn't be prouder of you. Good luck, my boy. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that giant war hammer? Get in, do what that you woman have to in do, Lise? and get your people Didn't out she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need to care about. My head could feel any you got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. <sighs> what does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. You don't have to worry about us. Just point us at the people you want dead. We'll take it from there. You enjoy this far more than you should. Kill only those you must. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, 
or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. Hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? will be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Can you see anyone? recently. Someone's up there. Then we'd better move. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Esther, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asher? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Vesca! Where are you going? Follow her! Ingi dratuli. 
Say was was Lee Wong Yi Ha. Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Beska! Stop! I should have killed you. Beska! I should have fucking killed you! Beska! He was my master. Dezo Zoraza. The man who forced me to... Nobody can blame you for wanting him dead. Do what you must. I will. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away! My... My best guy. I am not your... Let him go! What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say! Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Then who the fuck cares? Go ahead, Beska. <laughs> What have you done? Let's go. So when were you going to tell me he's a fucking Wavi? Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. You can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Ah. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Ha! If you're not gonna help, just leave it alone. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something. Please. I'll see what I can find. I still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would he bring us here? Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. It's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. I'm gonna keep an eye out. Strange. Guess there's not much to do up here.
Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. You find any water? Not yet. Someone's still living here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Want to kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. I don't trust this, Gwyn. Years of hostility and suddenly he wants a truce. It wasn't like that. I fought for weeks to make this meeting happen. So in other words, he might change his mind. I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today, which means keeping a level head. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes. I suppose you are. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. 
Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Coral died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. I'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. That's far enough! Bart from the other side. To high point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. And unlike Stark, you don't even have bodyguards. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? No. To justice. To justice, then. Now, tell us why we're here. 
The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. You promised the Boltons, Ironwood. If you can't deliver, that's your problem. If our Warden grows angry, it's both our problems. You Foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you Foresters survive. As if he'd protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten I'm us. I'm not threatening. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you demand more. Need I remind you? You kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to They're get what you want! They're making slaughtering your small folk! Maybe you'll even make you watch. Too bad your son is locked in our cellar. What are you talking about? We've taken Griff hostage, along with every soldier in your foul garrison. <sighs> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! You miscalculated, Lord. Now you'll pay the price. If you want Griff back, my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! No! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Let him go, or I'll have Griff This is killed. not what we agreed Blame him! Not me! If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? I want to kill you right now! Because you foresters will never I'm learn. not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Ryan, and you no, all no, no, help me! Let you go! Everyone, please! Now, now Roiland! <laughs> If you want to see Griff alive You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? I want to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Why I said all that! Go on then! Do it! What? You think I want? I know you want. Don't test him, Roderick! Just for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whitey is still a Whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both. 
when the Bolgians come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. Listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them? Aye. We'll need to take those two out first. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. Focus. We have to move. This mission won't wait for us. You're right. Sorry. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. <laughs> Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. Not unless she's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. Herself the breaker of chains. I think Croft got the easy job. Oh, 
Morton. Keep moving. Quick, the guards on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? <sighs> it's starting. Home at 
last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. We'll celebrate once Ryan has returned safely. We still need to make the trade. You're right, of course. Still, you did well today. Don't lose sight of that. My lord, look. Where are the gods? Dahlia? Duncan? Where are the Glenmores? Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I... I didn't mean to offend you. Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I won't. Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. State your business now. I thought you'd have more courtesy. Especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. You see? She's so... flexible. And you? I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. Justice was for Marine to deliver, not you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't sellswords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrett. Shh! 